Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Saturday the 12th of September 2015 and uh, this is a look at the claims that have been made that there is going to be an asteroid impact hitting the Earth sometime between September 15 and September 28, 2015. Uh, now we've seen all sorts of videos that have been posted by the usual culprits, the fear mongers, saying that the Earth is going to be impacted by an asteroid. Uh, we've had uh, in particular, a video by uh, Rene M or Rene Moses uh, confirmed comet coming this way September 2015. We've also had claims by Tom Lupshu, uh, who posted a video seven months back uh, saying that it was going to be um, an impact. In fact, he posted a video, as I recall, I think it was around about December of last year, saying that there was going to be an impact in seven months, which uh, took us through to about June or July, well of course um, we've passed that milestone and, uh, and now the focus is on uh, September. So anyway, um, lots of videos on YouTube and lots of items if you do a Google search for Asteroid Impact September 2015, uh, you'll find all sorts of articles claiming that there's going to be a giant asteroid hitting the Earth in September 2015. So, what are the facts about this? Well, my friend Chew Bird has posted this very good video. I'll post a link in the description area for you. And uh, just picking up at um, 1 minute 30 in, in uh, Chew Bird's video, and we'll see what he has to uh, point out here. So, here's a video of Stellarium showing how fast the, move, the Earth uh, moves through space. Now, this is sped up, I'll just move my cursor there so you can see the time down the bottom there. Um, now that's taken just under seven minutes to uh, move the diameter of the Earth which is 12,756 kilometers. So this means that if you were going to make a prediction that an asteroid was going to hit the Earth at any particular point in time, you would have to have extremely accurate data about that asteroid. You would need to have the accurate trajectory data, which would include its current position in space at any particular time, its speed, its distance. Okay. Now, this is the one thing that these fear mongers can never, ever provide. You know that they can make their predictions that there's going to be some impact, but they can never provide the actual uh, data on the asteroid. They can't provide the right ascension and declination data which is available for all other known objects in space. Now I can use my astronomy software uh, Starry Night or you can download Stellarium for free and look up asteroids and planets and moons, satellites even, and uh, you can look up the right ascension and declination data for any known object using these astronomy programs. But these fearmongers can never provide the right ascension and declination data for these objects that they claim are going to hit us. And as uh, Chu Bird has correctly pointed out in his video here, let's look at that again and I'll make sure we can see the time this time. Let's just play that again. So looking at the time down in the right hand corner there, you can see how long it takes for the Earth to move that distance. Okay, so just under seven minutes. Now these people making these predictions are going a step further and, and also saying that, um, that the, the comet or the asteroid is actually going to hit a, a particular point uh, on the Earth as well. Um, and as Chew Bird points out in his video, here we go, off the coast of Venezuela and Brazil, they would have to know within about a two minute time span when the alleged comet will cross the Earth's orbit. Now, they have made predictions that, the, that this asteroid will hit sometime between the 15th and the 28th of September yet the Earth crosses its own distance in just under seven minutes. So you see the problem that we've got here with these predictions, that you know that they, they make this fairly 
concise prediction that, that there's actually going to be an impact, but they can't provide the concise data on the actual asteroid. They can't tell us the right ascension and declination data for it, and they, they can't even tell us you know which constellation to look in uh, for the direction of where it's coming from. They can't provide any of this. Now, it's interesting that uh, NASA uh, also posted an article uh, to say that there is no asteroid threatening Earth, and they talk about these claims. Again, I'll post a link uh, to this article in the description area. And uh, they say that there is no scientific basis, not one shred of evidence that an asteroid or any other celestial object will impact Earth on those dates, said Paul Chodas, manager of NASA's Near Earth Object office at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. In fact, NASA's Near Earth Observations Program says there have been no asteroids or comets observed that would impact Earth any time in the foreseeable future. All known potentially hazardous asteroids have less than a 0.01% chance of impacting Earth in the next 100 years. Well, you know, people say, well, NASA lies, you know, NASA never a straight answer and all this sort of nonsense. Well, let's wait and see. You know, um, I'm, I'm saying here that there is going to be no asteroid impact as predicted by these fearmongers. I'm saying that there is going to be no asteroid impact uh, during the month of September or, or, or any time soon. Sure, there'll be fireballs that, that are seen, um, as there occasionally are, you know, uh, there have been some recently. Um, but as far as an asteroid impact like has been predicted, I'm saying it's not going to happen. But you've got the, the, the so-called truthers, such as uh, Rene Moses and Tom Lupshu and, and others who are jumping on this bandwagon and making these predictions. So let's find out who the real truthers are. You know, are the truth is people like Tom Lupshu, or in this case, are the truth is actually NASA who are saying it's not going to happen. So my money is on NASA. You know? We've seen these predictions time and time again. These people saying that there's going to be an asteroid impact. We had BP Earthwatch claiming that Comet, Comet Ison was going to uh, cause the Earth to be bombarded with huge rocks. Never happened. There were all the claims about Comet Alanin, you know, that it was some big conspiracy and that Alanin stood for Extinction Level Event Nibiru Impact Near and various other iterations of, of that. Of course it never happened. Then there was a whole 21st of December 2012 thing. It was supposed to be the end of the world as we knew it. Um, some people were saying that we're all going to ascend to 5D or all this sort of thing, whatever that means. It didn't happen. Um, so as for these truthers, uh, well, so much for truth, because all they ever do is spread lies. And it's these truthers who are calling NASA liars, but yet it's NASA who is telling the truth. So I have no fears about any asteroid hitting the Earth. Uh, during the month of September or any time soon. And uh, by the way, as for the um, Blood Moons um, predictions, there's also a very good video here called The Blood Moon Theory Debunked, which um, actually goes into great detail. It's by Chris White, and uh, it goes into great detail about the, um, the tetrads of eclipses and how often they have occurred in the past. And he actually looks at the um, the history uh, tied in with, with those eclipses. So if you want to check that out, you'll find a link in the description area. So there is my take on it. Um, I haven't done a terribly detailed video. It's just me giving my opinion uh, in this one. But, um, you know, <laughs> these predictions about an asteroid impact are just nonsense. Uh, as we will see, there will be no asteroid impact. And... Um, you know, if somebody is telling you that there will be, well, they should be able to provide the right ascension and declination data for this asteroid. If they can't do that, then they're just full of it. That's as, as simple as it is. It's just fear-mongering nonsense. 
So thank you for watching, and as always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X. You'll find a link in the description area.